All right, this is the Smart Beat Controller's 24 volt dry contact controller, or also known as the DCC8. The DCC8 allows you to control eight individual signable circuits. You can control up to eight zones of irrigation as well. And it's directly integrated for your Quest dehumidifiers using their 24 volt control input. Um, you can also trigger 24 volt coil contactor relays, which would allow you to control a whole variety of greenhouse and grow room appliances. It could be used to control any system that has low voltage control wires. It can also be con used to control any device that requires 24 volts to operate. And it's great for low voltage irrigation appliances such as solenoids for different zones of irrigation like we're doing in our video today and that's the input power supply and the power switch and this is the 5 volt power supply that comes with the unit so to connect your DCC8 to the hive gateway you're gonna log into your smart Beat controllers web app all right once you're logged in you're going to go into the settings over here on the top right. You're going to select Permit Join. And now devices can join the network. And then you're going to plug in the DCC8 using the included power adapter. And once you're done plugging it in, you're going to switch the power switch on the device, which is just to the right of the 5 volt power supply port. After you do a permit join, you're going to get a notification on the dashboard that says device discovered. That's the DCCA that it just discovered on the network. And that's just a notification that it's going to be in the device manager. And that's where we're going to ass assign the different zones of irrigation to the different relay bars on the DCC8. So to power your solenoids through your DCC8, we're going to be using a Rainbird replacement transformer, which is for irrigation solenoids. We kind of modified it a little bit. We, we cut the ends off and then just kind of spliced these two wires so they could get seated into the DCC8 over here. For this here. example, we're doing five zones of irrigation. We've got five solenoids that need to be connected at, at the time being. So he's going to go ahead and create some more jumper cables. And then we're going to have one here, one zone, two, third solenoid, fourth solenoid, and fifth solenoid to control five zones, five solenoids. They should look something like that, your jumper cables. Nothing too crazy. You just want to have enough to seat inside of the relay block and enough so that you can just kind of grab it and hold it. So we've got our we've got our replacement transformer, the power supply. We're hooking that and we're hooking that into the first relay, which is the first solenoid in series. And we put that we seated that in the same place as the jumper cable on the left side of that relay. These are all our different sprinkler wires coming from the solenoids that we're going to be wiring in series into the DCC8 right now he's given himself a lot more slack so that during installation he doesn't run too short or too long on his cable and he's also gone ahead and labeled all the different zones of irrigation that's a key one right that way you know where everything's going and you can explain it to someone else or fix it if you have a problem. All right, so we've taken solenoid one here and we've spliced the cable, seating one side of it into circuit one in the empty slot in the first relay block. And then we're just gonna go now down the line and seat the rest accordingly. We'll get the next guy We'll put her there, the next one will go there, the next one will go there, and the next one will go there, all coming from 
the individual sprinkler lines. Alright, so that's the last cable seated. And the last thing to do now is just to go and splice all the rest of the other side of the cables and marry them to the black cable on the replacement transformer. And you're pretty much ready to rock.